Hi, I'm Paul Ozelinski. I'm the illustrator of Dear Mr. Henshaw, and I'm very excited to be here today to tell you about what it was like to make that book with Beverly Cleary. Even from very early on, I was one of those kids who drew all the time on everything, and it came out pretty well. I was incredibly lucky to have been in a class taught by Maurice Sendak, who even at the time was very famous as a children's book writer and illustrator. It was wonderful because even just looking at really good children's books, I think, gives, has always given me a lot of pleasure. But looking at the things he did and the way he talked about them and the way he, um, the way he made art, was, it was just wonderful and it made me think maybe this is what I want to do. I worked more closely with people at the publishing house, like the editor, David Ruther, and the art director, Sylvia Fresolini, and they would be in touch with Beverly regularly. The first time I met her, though, was before we ever did anything together, and it was um, very embarrassing to me. I was invited to a party that was given by a publisher that I was working with, and the same one that published Beverly Cleary's books. And so at this party, I was introduced to Beverly Cleary. And I felt, I knew how, how famous she was. I remember even when I was growing up, the kids in my class were reading her books. But I never read any of them myself. And here I was being introduced to her, and I felt a little funny that I, I knew her name, but I didn't know her books. And she knew my books. I thought, what's going on? That made me so embarrassed. A few weeks later, her publisher asked me to illustrate a book she wrote. The book that they asked me to illustrate then by Beverly Cleary was Ralph S. Maus, which many of you might know, it has been re-illustrated by other people several times after my illustrations. But I'm very proud to say that Dear Mr. Henshaw has only had my illustrations and somebody told me that's because Beverly wouldn't let them change it. I love the idea that, that uh, I had a connection to the great Beverly Cleary. I had to find somebody who looked right for Lee Botts. He came to my house and I took all these pictures of him doing the things that Lee would be doing in the book, trying on a coat, peeking into his lunchbox, and I still have the actual cover here. It's colored pencil and some opaque watercolor and some very thin ink lines. And the book came out like this and then, and it won Beverly Cleary's one and only Newbery Medal. So how do I go about making a book? Well, Dear Mr. Henshaw was a, a chapter book, which is a little different from a picture book, but it's not that different because all of them start out just as a story with no pictures, except what's in your head. So you have to choose what to draw. And that's the first thing, read, 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 and then say, I think this page should have a picture of this. This page should have a picture of this. So I always make a chart of all the pages and what is gonna go on each page. My advice is always to remember that the real pleasure is in making the art doing the writing, maybe reading it, maybe sharing it with friends. A lot of people get a lot of pleasure out of children's books, out of books, out of pictures. And the people who are happiest are the ones who are made happy by doing it. I hope you enjoy hearing something about how it was to illustrate Dear Mr. Henshaw and how the book came to be made. And I really hope that you enjoy reading it as much as I enjoyed reading it when I first saw it and as much as I enjoyed making the pictures for it.